you know that type of lumpy agusi soup that you chew into thinking it's fish or meat i'm going to show you a simple way to make it without having to fry you see these chunky balls no matter how big you want it i'm going to show you how you can achieve it okay hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is remy and i make videos from lagos nigeria if you're new here welcome i'm glad to have you so without wasting any time let's get right into today's recipe the first thing i'm going to do is to blend my egusi i'm blending it dry without adding anything of course you want to do this first if you're new to my channel you can take a little tour on this channel and i'm sure you're going to find a lot of things that you really like if you do kindly subscribe so you can see more of my recipes for my pepper mix, I'm using some yellow scotch bonnet, red scotch bonnet, some red bell peppers, onions, and I'm also going to add these uziza seeds. The aroma is everything. This is going to change the game for your goosey soup. So I'm going to add some of that and of course some water. I am going to blend this until it is smooth. Now that everything blending is out of the way, it's time to start cooking. I added some palm oil in a pan. I'm going to heat that up for one minute, then add some chopped onions. I am going to fry this for just a bit and then add the pepper mix that I just blended. I rinsed out the blender into it, of course, and add my stock fish, which I soaked previously. And of course, some pomo. I'm adding these early so that they have enough time to cook and soften. I'm going to allow these fry for about five to seven minutes. And I'm going to prepare my goosey. I added some chopped onions. And in place of water, I'm going to use meat stock. If you don't have meat stock, please use water. Add a little salt and stock cube and you're good to go. This has been cooking for 7 minutes, so I'm going to add the rest of the stock now and some water. And because I'm using a lot of stock, I'll only be using one stock cube. I'll add a bit of salt as well. When you make your egusi into paste, please make sure it is very thick as shown here. After adding the egusi, ensure to cook on low heat so it doesn't boil aggressively and then break the lumps. That can happen especially if the egusi paste is not thick enough. At this point, I will add my beef, my shaki and some dried prawns. I will leave these to cook for another 10 to 15 minutes and 15 minutes later this is looking good the balls i made earlier are intact and you will have to break it into smaller lumps yourself or leave them as it is if you like some people like to eat it like this look at that they are firm they are not broken just look at this one really nice and this is how to achieve lumpy egusi without having to fry I'm just going to cut these into smaller sizes. If you like, you can leave yours like that. Then I'll add some ugu leaves. I already chopped and uh, washed these. I'm going to add some uziza leaves. This is a game changer too, guys. If you want to cook a goosey, please add a little bit of uziza and you will see the effect. It will change the game completely. <laughs> So I'm just going to mix these, work the vegetables into the agusi and just let it simmer still on low heat for a few minutes. And of course, I added some blended crayfish. This is looking good. Sincerely, this tasted better than it looks right now. It was so, so delicious. What is a goosey soup without making some pounded yam to go with it? Not poundo. <laughs> it's not like I don't eat poundo. I do, but this day I thought that the bestest pair has to be pounded yam, freshly made. And I did just that. This pounded yam was so good. I got the right yam for it. It is so super stretchy, soft, everything. Check for this pounded yam, I tell you. This was so good. There is absolutely no swallow you cannot enjoy with a goosey soup. I enjoyed this a lot and I know that if you use this method, you're going to get your goosey really lumpy and so delicious. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you again in my next one. Have a great day and bye-bye for now.